siamo qui con Lorenzo Masselli, terza linea delle Zebre. Ciao Lorenzo. Ciao a tutti. Lorenzo, sei sceso in campo nelle ultime tre partite delle Zebre. Come valuti la tua performance e dove pensi ci sia margine per migliorarti? I think it's um I think I played well with the chances that I got. Um I do think that it's important that we win games, so I want to help the team win games and uh become a key player, especially in this period that will come up. Venerdì scorso a Newport sei subentrato come numero 8, ma ti abbiamo visto ricoprire anche il ruolo di seconda linea e di flanker. In quale posizione ti senti più a tuo agio e quale pensi che sia il tuo principale punto di forza? So I feel more comfortable playing at uh, back row because I'm uh, I like attacking with space and having the ball in hand and moving out wide and um, with when you play back row you do this and I've always followed uh, players such as Kieran Reid and Pierre Spies and them, so uh, I've watched them growing up and I want to play in that position. A novembre e dicembre potresti ritagliarti sempre più spazi in squadra. Come sfrutterai questa opportunità e come vivi la concorrenza interna in un reparto con tanta qualità e giocatori della nazionale? I think there will be a big opportunity for, our, for the youngsters and the guys who haven't played a lot to uh, lift, uh, put their hands up and, and play games because now is the chance for them. Um, it's going to be a difficult time period, but also a good time for opportunity for other boys. Uh, playing with players from the national team is always a good thing because they lift the level and um, it makes us uh, youngsters and uh, other players uh, to search and lift the bar all the time. Su quali aspetti del vostro gioco state lavorando in vista della trasferta di Dublino contro gli irlandesi del Leinster? Leinster is a very good team. Uh, they're both strong in attack and defense and they're very clinical so we're going to have to work on uh, just being accurate in uh, our game plan and uh, just not giving them any opportunity um, to attack us on because uh, they are very efficient in taking those opportunities. Nella tua esperienza di giocatore hai avuto modo di confrontarti con il rugby sudafricano e con quello italiano. Quali sono le principali differenze che hai riscontrato tra i due stili di gioco? I think that uh, the physicality in both, uh, in both uh, nationalities is the same. But um, in Europe the rugby is more kicking and tactical, whereas in South Africa it's more running rugby. Um, so that's the difference that I would say, the main difference that you could see. Sei in procinto di laurearti in economia internazionale e management all'Università Bocconi di Milano. Che carriera sogni dopo il rugby? I think it's very important to think about what you're going to do after rugby. Um, to always have an idea of what you can do. Because rugby is only temporary and you can only play it for a certain amount of years. So you must always think about that. And uh, I think that I would like to work in economics and finance if I can. So that's where I'm working towards. Per questa stagione invece che obiettivi personali ti poni? I would like to become a, a key player in helping the team win games. So I would like to put my hand up and give the coach uh, give the coaches more trust that they can trust me to help uh, the team win games and play well. So good luck to Lorenzo. Thank you so much.